Rusty making his. So, I mean, I think that trucking comes with a lot of discomfort, you know, often if you need, if you need to have a very comfortable life, then trucking is not going to necessarily be a good route to go if you need that immediate comfort, because that was like the big deal for me, you know, it was like not the comforts of home, but the comforts of being able to be close to family and friends and be able to be around, you know, for my children, especially at this pivotal time in their life where they're becoming adults and I have grandchildren and things like that. I mean, I was on a truck when, we were on a truck when our grandkids were being born. I think I might've been at home for one. But these types of things, is the greater sacrifice because I know, you know, a lot of folks will say, well, you know, family is important and family come first. And that's exactly right. That's why I'm out here. That's exactly why we're out here because I do have to be mindful of setting my family up to win, you know, and that's building generational wealth. And based on some decisions that we had made prior, it was a lot more, it was a lot, it was more difficult you know, to build generational wealth. And a lot, I ain't gonna say easier, but this was a, um, this was a route that we didn't even know existed in this type of way. I mean, I knew about trucking, but we had no idea that we would be able to position ourselves to build wealth as quickly as we've been able to do it. And that's a blessing. Because trucking is not it. It's not going to be the end all. You know, trucking is a pathway for other areas that we're pursuing, whether it's real estate, whether it is um, ownership again, whatever, you know, we're trying to get into. Trucking allows you to think and really dream bigger. You know, the time that you're driving, the in-between times of lows give you a chance to actually dream um, a realistic dream and be able to see it come to path or come to fruition, I would say. And um, we needed that. We needed that. I am, I used to feel, you know, really bad about being on the road and not being able to spend time with my family, missing holidays, you know, missing birthdays and things like that. And those things are very important. But it's also very important that as we're building in our future to make sure that my children, that I'm leaving a legacy, that we're leaving a legacy, you know, I want them to, I don't want my grandkids to have to work as hard as we've had to work or even their parents. And I don't want them to have to struggle trying to figure out if they have money for college, if they have money to take up a trade or start a business. And that's what we're doing. Like we're stopping that generational curse of poverty at right here, right here. And if it means that I have to go without sleep, if it means that I have to go without seeing my family and talking to them and being at every event and, you know, just doing a lot of the things that keep you close, that's what I have to do because this is only temporary. It's not forever, you know. It's just really hard sometimes to get, <laughs> to get uh, <clears throat> others to view it that way. It's difficult. I mean, it is difficult. It's difficult. But it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. Get ready to go in here and have some breakfast in my room. I've done that maybe twice since I've been in trucking. I've, I've gotten room service. You know, we stayed at some nice places, but we don't always order room service. But it's, um, it's a treat. And from where I come from, I wasn't doing that. Staying at the Red Roof Inn, what you talking about? Holiday Inn, 35 a night. <laughs> 
hotel or, or JD. <laughs> well, I ain't had no money to do all that. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? Even if you went to a restaurant, you won't really go nowhere like that. You might have been doing some red lobster and that was a big up. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Bring us some more of cheese biscuits. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, and I ain't ashamed. I'm not ashamed though because, you know, it's definitely coming from the bottom and going to the top because that's what it is, you know. I'm enjoying watching this journey and watching it unfold and <clears throat> learning. That's another thing, like, <clears throat> trucking has allowed for us to learn things and still get ahead. You know, when you home, a lot of times you're trying to educate yourself and, and, and just move forward. I'm not saying you can't do it, but a lot of times the distractions of life can cause you to um, prolong the things that you need in order to be successful. And you need knowledge. You know, you need to educate yourself. That's the thing that separates the people who are winning and those who are not. Because we have great ideas. I mean, black kings and queens and all of us I mean everybody has you know that's entrepreneur has an entrepreneur mindset has great ideas but what separates you from those who are winning and those who are not is the knowledge base you know if you don't have that background knowledge then you about to go out and set yourself up and a lot of times that's what happens we know how to start a business we know how to serve we know how to do certain crafts we know the services we know how to provide certain things for people because we're we're uh, great at that but being able to have business structure and understand <clears throat> the languages of finance and, and and money and just understanding all of those types of things is what's going to separate you it matters it really does matter so that's what I'm doing. I'm setting myself up. I'm setting my husband up. He's setting me up, our family up, to build a legacy to win. We winning.